It's 5 a.m. I have had no sleep. Usually when I'm in this kind of sleep degradation state, I start ranting. Fortunately, I have a microphone at hand. But I'm not so fortunate if you're the smegger who keeps disliking my videos. But I turn my smart TV on, you know, to just put some on to watch whilst I just zone out. And lo and behold, battling, sorry, elite battle angel come on the screen. And it got me thinking. This is a film that could be considered a bar to be set for Hollywood ad adaptations of manga slash anime because it was good. And in the past, we had Dragon Ball. <coughs> I still can't say his name. As well as Ghost in the kind of misses the point, but was still actually quite good as an action film. Shell. And the, huh? That was Netflix's Death Note. But now we have this, which is a generally unknown property that is still going. We got a new chapter in the story of the Mars Chronicle the other day, which was surprising because it was several months since the last one. So here's hoping future Hollywood adaptations turn out like like this you know good with actual thought to the source material you know changing it slightly but not completely changing it so your main character is an awkward high school kid with slightly spiky hair that gets into fights with gangs of thugs and generally looks like a little twat or oh, just removing the meaning of the thing just to make it simpler for the audience that can't understand basic philosophy and the meaning of what it is to be human. Or oh, just completely flipping up the storyline. Because we all know people just watch that because they heard, this is awful, you should watch it. And people are like sheep when it comes to things like that. They'll watch it because it's bad. Because people say it's bad. All these YouTubers say this film is bad. You must watch it. Don't be a sheep. If it's bad, don't watch it. Because that's what they want. They want you to watch it so they'll have money to make another one. Who's Netflix? They seem to have money anyway. And I just hope to... Dear Lord, let me... That the Cowboy Bebop... Fillmore series is gonna be good because there's not much they can mess up with eyes there. Japan has shown us over the years that it is possible to make a good live action adaptation. Look at Ronoi Kenshin or Samurai X. They are so good that they had tears of joy coming out of my eyes during the fight sequences because they were just so well choreographed. We had the last fight on the third one. I just basically had to pause it mid-flow because it was just going so fast. And of course you've got ones of series that nobody remembers, like Azumi. Remember that one? That was a very good samurai film. And then they made a sequel. I started reading the manga, unfortunately I just lost track completely. I should get back to that eventually. Which brings us kind of full circle to other countries doing adaptations. I mean, there's a City Hunter one that's coming out which looks really good. Mimi si uni comprehension limite du français. No, it doesn't mean your mother sleeps with dogs. Or people that look like dogs. We also had the Jackie Chan City Hunter, which wasn't really City Hunter. But it had the possibly best big budget live action Street Fighter movie going. So it's not all Hollywood that's to blame when it comes to these big budget adaptations. We're saying that. The Fist of the North Star 1 with Gary Daniels is what you could call a guilty pleasure. But then again, I have a soft spot for that series of out hard men. And with that far in your head, I bid you good night.